good day. Thank you for joining us on the People Chronicles. My name is Dr. Tammy Balachek, and we are bringing you another episode of our series called Your Mouth is the Door to Your Health. And today I'm joined with Sue. Sue is a longtime patient in our office, and she graciously agreed to share her story with our audience. So welcome, Sue, and thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. You can start out by sharing um, what you experienced or what symptoms you were having and how you ended up coming to our office. Okay. Well, um, several years ago, during regular dental appointments, I would complain to my dentist that um, I was having a lot of uh, pain um, here by my ears, the side of my face, and, and down in my jaw. And um, I, I wasn't getting a lot of input from my dentist. I wasn't getting a lot of satisfaction, um, although um, he did finally um, get me an appliance to wear on the, the top part of my teeth. So I had just an appliance that I would wear on the top at bedtime. Um, but it wasn't, it still wasn't really taking care of the problem. Um, I started having them cracking some teeth. Um, I had to have root canals, crowns, we didn't have dental insurance, so in addition to the pain, it was also financially um, expensive. So I asked for, um, to, that, what can we do? Let's take the next step here. You know, we need to do something more. And he referred me to you. Um, and at the time, it was, it's about an hour drive, and I was a little hesitant and um, came to you. And after the first time, I knew that I definitely wanted to try something different um, to take your recommendation and, and to go further with a different appliance. And Sue is a great example to be here because not only did she have the jaw pain and all those symptoms, but you had also been previously diagnosed with sleep apnea. That's so right. in addition to that upper mouth guard, were you also wearing a CPAP machine? That's correct. Um, and I didn't even realize at the time that it was all related, you know. Mm -hmm. So yes, I had a CPAP machine plus the device that I wore in my upper teeth. And um, after coming to you and um, the workup that you did with the x-rays, the tests, the sleep study, um, there's quite a comprehensive workup. Um, when I first came to your office, um, I realized that here, the sleep apnea issue and the grinding of the teeth and the jaw pain issue could all be taken care of by one appliance. Yeah. So it was a, a two for one. <laughs> awesome. So if you can tell our audience, um, what symptoms did you have that led you to get a sleep study? How did you know or think that you had sleep apnea? Well, I also have fibromyalgia. So I had pain throughout my body in addition to my jaw and my ears and you know my neck area and everything. And I think the pain was probably what was keeping me awake mainly at night. Um, you know, I, I would either couldn't fall asleep or I would fall asleep and wake up. And I was getting up in the morning and I just didn't feel rested. I just always felt tired. Um, and then I thought, you know, something can't be right. I, I'm either not sleeping well or not sleeping enough. And after discussing that with my family doctor, we decided to do a sleep study. And then in fact, it did show that there was some sleep apnea. So sleep apnea is a blockage of the airway, either um, in our nose, if we have a deviated septum, or enlarged turbinates, which is the soft tissue part of the nose, or a blockage of the back of the throat, the uvula piece that hangs down, or the tongue and falling back. And so what a lot of people don't realize is that our lower jaw, which is connected to the face at the jaw joint called TMJ, determines the size of our airway. And so if our lower jaw is set back, it can cause the cartilage in the joint to come out, causing jaw joint pain and clicking noises. And it also constricts our airway. So when Sue lays down at night and her jaw falls back and relaxes, it causes a sleep apnea. And then to help her breathe, she would move her jaw around at night to try and open that airway and move the tongue and that's what could keep the jaw joint sore and inflamed. So when, when she came in, she mentioned a complete exam. Mm -hmm. 
and then she was given one appliance to treat both things. So the appliance, which you brought with you today, okay. if you would pull that out for sure. us, please. This appliance is both the top and the bottom, which was unlike what I started with. And I find that that was helpful too. And you could probably do a better job than I, I explaining this well, kind of appliance. I, yeah, as I just mentioned, the problem is the lower jaw falling backward or open at night during sleep, closing the airway, and the, the cartilage getting out of alignment in the jaw. So a lot of patients are prescribed a one arch device, and if it goes on just your upper teeth, it doesn't hold the lower jaw. The lower jaw can still fall back. And like you mentioned, you were still grinding and you broke teeth from those forces of grinding, which costs more money in crowns. So this appliance is different in that it's an upper and a lower piece joined together so it keeps that lower jaw forward and the airway open. And it's actually quite comfortable. Um, I know the first time when I was in your office and I went to put it in, I was so afraid. Aww. I was afraid to put it in. I was afraid to take it out. I was afraid it wasn't going to come out. Um, and, and then now you just pop it in, you pop it out. It's, it's just like... Well, you wear eyeglasses, so right. I like to compare it to that. You put your glasses yes. on in the morning, you go a whole day with right. them, you take them off. At night, you put your appliance in, yes. you go to sleep, and you take it out in the it's, morning. It's no big deal, right? Routine. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So um, in addition to you coming into our office, you also have a family member that you sent in. Yes. After I started learning more about sleep apnea um, and what the signs were, and um, I noticed that my husband, who was always a heavy snorer, was also stopped. He was stopped he would stop breathing during the night. And um, I kept telling him, you know, oh, you need to go see Dr. Tammy. And um, finally he did. And now he also has an appliance that Dr. Tammy gave him for the sleep apnea. And now he no longer snores and he no longer stops breathing in the middle of the night. And in fact, if, if he falls asleep without it in, I know because I'll hear him snoring and I'll wake him up. I'll say, do you have your, you know, do you have your mouthpiece in? And, um, so it definitely, I can, I can tell, he says he wears it for me because now I sleep better also because I'm not listening to him snore all night. So I'm but, curious, do you, do you get up and get it for him or does he get up and get he it? He does. <laughs> well, usually he has it close by, but um, Good. yeah. So actually um, um, he's benefiting from a better night's sleep and so am I. And, and Sue brings up a very good point. Um, many bed partners will suffer with headaches and interrupted sleep because of their partner who's snoring. And it's been my experience that some men don't come there willingly. <laughs> they don't want to um, deal with their problems. So it's often a bed partner who points it out and urges them to come in but it can make a tremendous difference it in does. their health. So, And once you get the initial appliance and that, you know, it's fit, you don't even have to come in often. It's not time consuming. After, after you get right. the appliance, you know, the benefits of having it for a few visits to the office, it's, you know, it's a no brainer. Sure. It takes about three months until the jaw is aligned and the, the airway is at its maximum. And then we do test with a sleep study to make sure it's working. And then, like Sue was saying, the office visits are minimal after that, about once a year. Mm -hmm. So um, as some parting thoughts, is there anything you'd like to share about our office or your experience? Uh, my experience has been wonderful. Um, Dr. Tammy has saved me so much in, in um, she, she's helped me sleep better, uh, saved me money, saved my teeth. Um, I, I feel so much better wearing the appliance. I don't know where I'd be today without it. Um, my interactions with her staff has been wonderful. They've all been, they listen to me. Uh, Sheila, I know I spoke with in the office the other day and I told her that I've become so dependent on it now. I, you know, I need it. If something happens to it, I need it. And like she really listened to me and understands. You know, Sandy's been wonderful, you know, sharing with the scheduling. You know, Kathy, you know, when I check out, everyone has been wonderful. And I, I've been telling people to come. My brother is suffering from headaches and trying to get him to come. Oh, thank um, you. I, I, I definitely recommend Dr. Tammy for any of those symptoms that you may be having. Oh. 
Well, thank you so much, Sue, for joining us and for sharing your story. We do appreciate it. And thank you. It's my so pleasure. glad that you're feeling better. Yes. And, and we do thank yes. you for sending other people thank to you. us. Thank <laughs> you. So. And thank you for joining us today. Um, again, my name is Dr. Tammy Balachek, and I am with the Center for TMJ and Sleep Disorders. We are located on Route 10, which is also Morgantown Road in Reading, Pennsylvania. And we are next to the Penske Building across the street from Dan's at Green Hills Inn. And our website is tmjsleepcenter.com. And our phone number is 610-796-2835. Thank you.